Let the feast begin. Outside the world of academic achievement. Fred, I'd be thinking exactly the same thing. This is my perfect victory! That's right! I win! Mount Everest ain't got shit on me. Round two. You sent me an emergency holer for that. Oh my gosh, Minerva, quick! There's an emergency in the staff room! Okay, fine, I'll send it, but can we please just play one game, please? Severus looks like Emo Squidward. Hey. <laughs> Cat Hermione looks like Beauty and the Beast had a baby. Uh. Draco Malfoy looks like Gertie from Spy Kids. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's uncanny! Dobby looks like Prince Charles. It might be treason, but it's true. Dolores looks like Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Does she? Let me just pull up my PowerPoint. So as you can see, <sighs> we change the lighting a touch, bring up the contrast, and it is the same image. She does have a bulbous head and feasts on the fear of children. And she's a massive clown. Hands down, she's worse than my boy Penny. Why has she got a dead cat on her balloon? Oh, because Sybil mentioned yesterday at brunch that she's going to try and kill you. Dolores. Is kill me. <laughs> oh no, it's too much. I'll send you a get well soon card. <sighs> Did you see his face? Maybe for fat lump of giving this a squeeze. He remembered four on his butt. Oh! Give it here, Mel boy. No. I think I'm gonna leave it somewhere for a long bottom to find. How about a roof? What's the matter, Potter? But beyond your reach. Harry, no way! You heard what Madame Hooch said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot. Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Is that so? Have you your way, then. I gave myself a heart attack while doing a customer order. Everything was normal at first. This portrait took me five hours. Serious. Here comes the scariest part. Covering him up. Hoping I didn't ruin everything. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful.
As June approached, the days became cloudless and sultry, and all anybody felt like doing was strolling onto the grounds and flopping down on the grass with several pints of iced pumpkin juice, perhaps playing a casual game of gobstones, or watching the giant squid propel itself dreamily across the surface of the lake. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. A bad cadaver! Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. A bad cadaver! Harry Potter, the boy who left, come to die. A bad cadaver. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. A bad cadaver! Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. A Vodacadaver! Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. A Vodacadaver! Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. A Vodacadaver! Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. A Vodacadaver! Harry Potter, ha ha, the boy who lived, come to die. A <laughs> Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. I've had a cadaver. I just say, hey, Harry Potter, <laughs> the boy who lived, uh, come to die. <laughs> I've had a cadaver. <laughs> um, Harry Potter, the boy who lived, um, come to die. Uh, I've had a cadaver. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, um, come to die. I've had a cadaver. That is it. I know you guys said it was annoying having Umbridge follow you around, but no, this is too much. Oh, is it your turn? Having fun. Fun? She keeps criticizing me. Does she not know who I am? Wait, what did she say? Firstly, she said Hogwarts is dangerous. No. Yes. I mean, in the last five years, we've only had one child dying that wasn't even my fault. Seven nearly died. Nearly is not dead, Minerva. Next. What else did she say? She said that I'm a liar and I can't be trusted. You you do keep telling everyone you're a vegan. I am a vegan. You had beef today. Yeah, but it was vegan beef. Vegan beef. The beef came from a vegan cow because the cow only ate grass, not meat, so it's vegan. That's not how it works. Uh -huh. I'm gonna start beef with you in a minute!
Hi, Stacy. Stacy. Oh, it's nice to meet you. This is I'm Megan. This is my first meeting. <laughs> oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. Sorry, I'm so unprepared. Uh, did he hand out agendas? Whoa, that's a big snake he has with him. No, when I heard about it, I thought it was like a little garden snake because he said he brought it everywhere. But like, that would probably be hard to get in airplanes. Oh my god, snakes in a plane. Have you seen that? It's a muggle movie. Oh, we hate muggles. Mm. <laughs> good movie though why is he talking about the harry potter kid still he he wants to go kill him isn't he like 11 he could just go kill him oh my god he's 17 now girl i'm getting so old i got stacy what year were you no i was also 2004 oh my god oh snape's right there hi professor snape he didn't like me i wasn't a slytherin i was a hufflepuff um, so I don't know why I'm here. I was in Potions 102 on Wednesdays and Mondays. Where were- Stacy, shut up. Stacy, shut up. Oh my god, how could I not remember you? No, I swear I'm an actual Death Eater. I did get the tattoo. Um, I did have my nephew do it. He's apprenticing for tattoos right now, and like, I just really want to be supportive. So basically, like, he did the snake, and then he did the head, and when I touch it, the thing doesn't happen yet, but I don't think he's finished with it. I think he needs to put more detail on. Who's that floating in the middle? Oh, that was the Muggle Studies professor? Dude, I took that class. <laughs> oh my God, don't tell Voldemort. Oh, what's his snake's name? Nagina? Hmm, there's like a teenager down at the bottom. He has like really blonde hair. Very airy and looking. Is she important, the one with the crazy hair? Oh, she's like really important? she has meth teeth okay so when i was in the muggle study class we studied um tiktok and there's this like meme on tiktok about like us and people like take their little things and they go stay stacy stace stacy 